Hey, how's it going everyone? And welcome back to another Hexagill review. Today we are going to look at the Hexagill Governor, Early Governor Volume 1 by Kodobukiya. Once again, I would like to give a shout out to HobbyFriendline.com, which is where I got this Hexagill model kit. Except for pre-orders, back orders and sales items, you can use Jetto Hobby 5 up to get 5% off when buying from their website. I will leave a link in the description for you to check out. Now let's get back to the review. So for a bit of background for this model kit here, this Early Governor Volume 1 was released in December 2018. You can also get the exact same model in a jungle type color variant. There is a re-release of this model kit coming up in May 2020. At the time of recording of this video, up to volume 5 is announced to release in July 2020. First off, the box here is slightly bigger than what we have seen before. Right out of the box, we have this longer than usual assembly menu, which is still very easy to follow. The runners are almost entirely new, except for these two. Then we have 9 pair of hands in total plus the little hexagram. No pre-painted parts this time, and as usual, it comes with an awesome artwork. So that is how it looks snapped together with a bit of glue on the neck and everything that it comes with. There is quite a bit of extra stuff that comes with this kit. There are 5 different head options and a whopping 9 pairs of hands in total. 3 of these are what we have seen before. Besides the hand, we have an assault rifle, a bullpup rifle, a submachine gun, a handgun with a holster, and a handgun in the holster. Then we have a butter knife with a shaft and a butter knife in a shaft. A set of what they call the Alice pack. And lastly, we have the chest ray. Let's not forget this is a hexagon, so of course there is a hexagram. I've stick it in there this time and we will see why. As for size comparison, here comes the real great Axia, Master Great Dynamus, here are his new toys and his new buddy, and finally here's a ruler. This time, like it says on the box, he is 76mm tall, that's only when he has the Alice pack on his back. Now let's look at the main body. The color accuracy is not too bad, you do get a lot of surface details, so a bit of panel lining should make it look nicer already. And the apps are not flexible anymore because this is now made of ABS, which is a good thing, because the paints on the soft PVC tends to get scratched quite easily like this guy here. Also, soft PVC plastics are slightly harder to work with. I do want to point out that the heads are not pre-painted anymore. This time around, the head clicks in very tightly so no more loose head like this guy. And from some angle, he might look like he's wearing a pair of sandals. Moving on with the hands, we have a lot of options. These three pairs here are what we have seen before. The open hands for riding stuff, the closed fist for some punchy punchy, and a pair of regular weapon holding hands. The new hands are quite expressive. We have a finger pointing hands, peace hands, thumbs up, karate chop, flat out open hands, and hands for doing this. What? Let's see if I can count to 10 with this kid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Woo! Yes, he can. Now let's look at the accessories that it comes with. As usual, all the weapons come in one color only. To hold the weapons, first, take out your trusty weapon holding hands. Same as all other weapons, just slide it in like so. Here's what it looks like with the assault rifle, the bullpup rifle, and the sub machine gun. Unlike these two kits, you cannot store this weapon anywhere on the figure itself. So that's a shame. What you can store on the figure are the pistol holders and the knife chest. And no, this pistol cannot go into the empty holster and the butter knife does not go into the shaft. Somehow the knife handle will shrink when it is in the shaft. There are 6 points of connections where you can store this. 2 on the chest and 2 on each leg. Next we have what they call the chest rig. The 2 balls on the side are not color accurate. I believe those are hand grenades. To use the options, you have to dismantle the torso, take out the middle part, take out this part, put the chest rig in, put the middle part back in, and put the torso back together. And that's how it looks with the chest rig. Then we have a set of Alice pack, which goes on to the hexagram slot. These stuff have hard points all over it. This is how it should look like based on the instruction manual, but you can put them in whatever way you feel like. The Alice pack has a bit of weight to it, so you kinda have to let it lean forward a bit for it to stand. Now moving on to the articulation, as usual the head is just a ball joint, but a bit tighter than usual. That's as high as he can go, that's all the way down, tilting left and right, and all the way around. Next up we have the shoulders, like what we have seen before. There is this up and down movement, and a forward and back movement. A ball joint out there so we can turn it all the way around. That's as far as the arm can go from the side. Super tight pivot joint on the upper arm. There's the bend on the elbow. Not the from the hexagon line as we have seen before. And the hands are just regular ball joints. There's a ball joint and a hinge joint in the chest as usual, so you can tilt it up, down, 
bit of side to side you can't turn it all the way around this time that's all the way to the left and that's all the way to the right the hinge joint in the middle lets it do this the belts and the abs here doesn't stay in place at all then there's the legs if you have seen my other hexagon review before you know you're in for the legs here's all the way up limited by the belt there bring it to the side and all the way back a pivot joint in the upper thigh a quite good knee bend the ankle is very interesting this time you can turn it up all the way down like this and all the way rotation like this. As for left and right, there is a pivot joint in the lower leg so you can turn it all the way around. So, there was a lot going on from this box. All the joints are nice and tight since they are now made of ABS plastic. The hands are still made of PVC so some of it are a little bit on the loose side. Let's see if he can keep up with their workout routine. Stretch, kick, and split kick tiptoe style. Hey guys, guys, look. The only downside I could say is the elbow and the torso are not as flexible this time. The stock of the bullpup rifle is a little bit too long for him to hold it properly. It took me some patience to actually pull off this pose from the box. The wrist keep falling out on me because the handle is too far out stretching the wrist. The pivot joint in the upper arm is perhaps too tight. So how would I rate this kit? First, I like the desert theme going on for this kit and there's only a little bit of color inaccuracy on the main body which is not bad. But as usual, all the weapons just comes in black. The elbow on this kit cannot bend any more than this, which is a shame. And the left and right movement on the torso is quite limited this time but now it has much better ankles the pivot joint in the upper arm is just too tight besides the upper arm the rest of the joints are nice and tight the wrist does pop off sometimes when you try to pose it depending on the weapon it's holding in the end i give this kit a high 8.7 out of 10. As for recommendation, the Hexagear stuff are still pricey and this is more expensive than most of the Hexagear governors out there. You are paying for all the accessories that it comes with. So once again, not for everyone. But if you are a Hexagear fan, you like all the extra hands, guns, and backpack, and if you're expecting a model kit of this size, then you are in for a treat. Once again, I have to say this is definitely suitable for beginners. Alright guys, I have all the links in the description and do check out my other Hexagon reviews in my channel and if you are buying from hobbyfrontline.com, don't forget to use the coupon code jettohobby 5 off to get 5% off on your next purchase. As you might have noticed, this is a new YouTube channel and I would really really appreciate if you guys would give me a like and hit the subscribe button to show me your support. If you would like to know more about this model kit, please let me know in the comments and if you would like to make any suggestion on my video content style, please let me know as well. And thank you so much for watching and coming up next, the Quetzal.